Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. Today we are going to see the comparison in between two note stacking apps. One you call liquid text and another is marginal note 3. I would say these applications are really designed for different kind of users. They are both powerful PDF annotation application for your iPad. Both softwares are very expensive which is why it's really important that we compare the two applications in this video before you guys buying any one of them. In this video, I will be highlighting the strength of each application for different uses and of course their shortcomings. Marginal 3 is ideally for studying academic study. This is shown by how the application has a dedicated study note and flash tabs among other things. Liquid text is for PDF annotation mostly for professionals. For different various reasons that I will be highlighting in this video, both applications are not so good with auto backup. Uh, some of you guys have encountered a problem with much in Note 3 syncing and my suggestion for those of you guys that are having this trouble is if you really want a document sync across your devices, make sure you manually sync it. Just to be sure, syncing in margin Note 3 is really a hit and miss situation at this point and hope this is something that the application can work on and fix very soon. As for backup margin 3 doesn't have auto backup in their settings. Have an option to backup of course you do but the application doesn't have a way to set up auto backup. In the application you have to manually backup your notes database and all your documents or you can just choose to backup just your notes. But the good thing about the backup and margin note 3 is that you can backup any application that you choose not just to cloud services but you can really just speak to any application you want and application will backup to that. Liquid text has no backup no syncing for your notes whatsoever which was one of the main reason we have stopped using liquid text. I had a very hard time moving my document from my iPad Pro 2016 to my iPad Pro 2019. When I upgraded Liquid Text which doesn't sync across your devices in 2019 soon to be 2020, this is simply unacceptable. I did a video explaining why I have stopped using Liquid Text in my main PDF annotation application and I will link that in description box below. Liquid Text has a feature that let you save annotations through the original PDF. The original source of your PDF could be your iPad or in the cloud, it really doesn't matter. If I was to undertake a document, I can annotate it in Liquid Text and save it to that document wherever I can got it from. This feature really makes Liquid Text very good for collaboration. If you are working with someone and someone wanted you to go through their content and share your thoughts on them, you can use Liquid Text. Both Margin Note 3 and Liquid Text are not the kind of PDF annotating applications you want to use if you want to share your PDF with other people. Margin Note 3 has review feature that makes it better to keep your content in the application for revision because everything is connected in the application. So whenever you click on any taken notes, it will directly go to the your mind map and select where exactly the words has been marked. So this is very good feature. You can also go back to the PDF you got your information from. If you don't understand something later, you can directly go to the selected topic it makes more sense for you to use marginal note 3 if you don't intend to export your document out of the application in the liquid text you can also select any information and mark it as a tree in the bottom below given area if you like to connect two information together you just need to draw a line in between them if you click on this arrow it will connect exactly where from the text has been copied. 
so if you are at any place in the document and just like to go back to the topic which you like to see again you can click on the link and it will directly goes to the linked location but here the issue starts in liquid text and margin note 3 because all these notes which we are marking in the mar liquid text and marginal 3 are connected till the document is in the application if you export this document into the pdf or in any other source the links get broken and this is same for marginal 3 and liquid text also another problem with the margin note 3 if i select any document and if i export these notes which i have taken from this book into the pdf format the all links of this mind map has been broken with the book now this book has been exported and all notes has been exported into the same format but the issue is if i click on any notes they are not connected with the documents given with the exported file in a liquid text you can select multiple documents for exporting if you go to the pdf file here you will find the option of multiple file selection from here you can export them together the main issue is all the files will get into one file and that's the issue because we need to have the separate file in each so that's the problem with liquid text when annotating a pdf margin node 3 it creates dedicated notebook for each topic like if i select some topic from here i can directly select the line and that will automatically get converted into annotation if i need to attach something to that annotation i just need to pick and drop this into the previous annotation so it will get connected so this way you can connect n number of annotations to the same notation in liquid text this thing becomes little bit difficult because it actually takes the text and connect them this way so it takes actually a lot of space in the document and you cannot connect the document like margin note 3 in liquid text i don't tend to write out anything in the application this will save you a lot of time if you are studying using margin note 3 so margin note really shines when it comes to study the situation is very different for liquid text However, in liquid text, your workspace can contain multiple PDF, but each time you add a textbook to a workplace, the application makes a copy of the PDF. To clearly understand this, we have made a separate detailed video on liquid text. Please watch that. Fact that you have to duplicate each document makes liquid text ideal for studying in many opinion. Because for particular subject, for example, let's take a random subject like mathematics and we have a 15 topics under that let's say you will have a 15 topic under that and your math textbook if you use this approach to study this will take up a lot of space on ipad because liquid text make a separate file for each topic and that will take a lot of space so to overcome this you need to create one workspace for your subject but then this subject has another 31 topics in it which means your workspace of your canvas will have notes for other one topic and all your 31 topics will be on one canvas this setup is not idle for study and here we find the liquid text is more idle for professionals and not for studies but in spite of that liquid text is really easy to work because when we need to connect some topics to the main seat it will easily accessible to the seats when you just press this arrow button on the topic you have already selected but another issue is while export this large document it will export into one file and that will be very tiny size of printing will be done at the end so just select another app and we will try to see a page and look you can see here very tiny size of annotations we can see in this area so that's the issue with liquid text in margin note 3 you can export your notes in different formats to different applications exporting notes out of the margin note 3 is not difficult at all 
which is to be expected considering that the application is mostly focused on study and helping you to get the most out of your study. The application integrates with a lot of applications which is really great. Margin Note 3 is really great for your study. It's generally great for you to keep your notes in the application for you to study your notes and interact with your notes in the application. But it is also great if you decided to export your notes out of the application. Margin Note 3 also has a review feature which is very useful for your study. Margin Note 3 has a browser that allows you to get information from the web. If I need to see the information regarding this word, I just need to select on research and online it will show the definition of the particular word. This is really grateful. Liquid text out over the web browser is mean for importing articles into the application. If you open a web page, you can't quickly take down the definition like you can in margin note 3. The ever dedicated importing tool to liquid text like if I type some word and search for it, I can import this whole document into the margin note 3. I just need to click on the import button and the entire page has been imported into the liquid text which is very useful and whether or not it is better really depend on what you are trying to achieve in the application. Outside margin note option is better for student. Although margin note option is better for students when you are studying and use online resources all the time but their approach is in liquid text also works for anyone who wants to study articles for research and examples searching in which is limited to text in the document. In margin note 3 the search option is very easy. It is limited to text in the document. You edit in the application. The application want to search in your entire canvas. If I search here any any word like like this one and margin note will select all the words in the entire document. This is very pretty cool. Now we will see how this works in your liquid text. In liquid text if I put any word so it will only search into the document which is right now present and, and its search will not give you a complete separate visual report like margin note 3. So margin note 3 search is better than the liquid text. Now we are coming to the last topic. You must have noticed till time both the applications are very good in handwriting. If I select margin note 3, I can easily write down and this is up to the infinity level. I can write down anywhere in the document. Same in liquid text. As you see, we can write down anywhere and it has huge infinity canvas in the liquid text. So it is very easy for the people who like to write a lot of notes on their own. So now guys, I think we have covered all the topics which these softwares cannot do. What they can do is very easy which we have already explained in our separate videos. So now from this video you can understand that what are the limitations in these both softwares. So you can easily now choose as per your requirement. I personally prefer if you are a student or you would like to read a lot of books and like to take a lot of notes like me then you should go for the margin note 3 and if you are a student and like to download a lot of information from internet and utilize that in your notes then definitely text is a good option for you so thank you very much guys please do like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon button to get our new video notifications on time thank you very much